Hello, this is Danny, and this is Danny Design Studio, and this is July Class in a Box. And this is using the <coughs> Sweet Ice Cream stamp set, which you could have purchased on your order, or um, you could use any stamp set you like. Um, we are doing four cards using the lovely ice cream papers and the snail papers, which are both retired now. They were in the January to June mini catalogue. Um, but I thought it was quite a fun fun card to do um, in the summer with all the lovely ice creams that we're all having in this lovely weather. Maybe not, but anyway. This is a full, two fun folds, a shaker card and a standard card. Now these are just samples of the cards that you'll be doing because obviously you requested either the Bermuda Bay or the Blackberry Bliss, which is the lovely ribbon here, or the snails, snails or the mushrooms for the shaker cards. So um, let's get started on the first two fun folds. So this is the one that we're going to start first. Now you either had a choice, as I said, of Bermuda Bay or <coughs> um, Blackberry Bliss or even the peachy terracotta ones, um, which is Calypso Coral. So you get in your box two cellophane packets. This one is the, the snails. Um, so we're gonna put that to one side. This is the one we're starting on. So your first cellophane packet is, has got a lovely piece of coordinating ribbon. You have got five sheets of card which is the colour card stock that you chose. Three lots of white, basic white. There's plenty that I've given you, just in case you wanna mix and match. A long uh, slimline envelope, standard envelope. You've got four lots of six by 12 DSP. So two lots of lolly, uh, one lot of ice cream, one lot of lollies, and you can decide which one you want to do. Nice colours on the back too. Then you've got your coordinating DSP, two sheets of that as well. I had to cut them in half to, in order to get them in the box. So, <clears throat> and then you've got um, quite a few dies here that we're gonna be using. So I'll put that over here. You've got some ice creams cut out from the, the punch, which is still in the annual catalogue. Um, hope you can see that night light's not glaring at it, um, but it cuts it out really well. So let's get started with our cardstock and we're gonna cut that to size. So you want to choose 21 centimeters and 21 centimetres with the A4, that is 21 centimetres. You keep that like that, turn it to the side and you want to cut at 24 centimetres. So you want to cut that right up there. Then you score with the widest part at the top. So this is your widest part. You want to score at so take your cutting blade out of the way, score at seven centimetres, then at 14 centimetres. So you'll then have a 10 centimetres, seven and a seven panel. So with your, your 10 centimetre panel to that side, you're going to fold that inwards like that and then it's this is called a mountain valley fold because what you're getting is your mountain and then your valley so that's a mountain valley fold that is the basis of your car but you've then got to cut this piece at an angle to get this sort of shape here. So you then go back to your trimmer, 
get a little pencil and bring that out. So from the top, from the widest part, you've got 21. So follow it up to the 10 centimeter mark and put a little pencil mark there. You then take your trimmer, you pop that, the pencil mark, in your cutting line, and then with, that's the top bit of the card, you then bring that round and get this aligned with your cutting trimmer. So you're gonna cut straight to there. So this is your 10 centimeter big area seven centimetres, seven centimetres. You're going to cut from that 10 centimetres diagonally along there. Line it up and then cut it. So you're cutting the triangular bit off like that. And that is how you get that shape. So we then need to, we're going to decorate this panel with the ice creams. You're then decorating this panel, that panel, and the middle back panel. Because that's all you're going to see. You're not really going to see that panel when it's it's up on the mantelpiece or wherever people put it. You're not going to see this panel, so you're not going to bother to decorate that, really. So, we need to get our either our ice cream or lollies. I'm going to do the ice creams and measure it at nine and a half centimetres remember it's directional so it's got to be that way then you're going to measure it to put it up to 20.5 and cut these two pieces are to be kept because you're going to actually use them. So that's going to go in there. You're then going to get these panels. So these are going to be cut down to six and a half. Just cut strips. Six and a half. That's two panels and then another six and a half. So three panels with your coordinating DSP, six and a half. Six and a half strips, six and a half centimeter strips. Now, I'm just gonna show you how we're going to do this. So first of all, I'm just gonna glue this in place. At any point, please do feel free. Well, I know you will anyway, but just to remind you, just fast forward, because I'm just doing this in real time and sometimes it can get really long. So please do fast forward. If you don't want to see certain bits and you know what you're doing. So that is your back panel. So then you want to have a strip here so that is going to be going like that you then need to decide what sort of where you want your strips do you want your I'm gonna have my strips like that side and that side and then I'm gonna have that strip like that side sorry can you see this so that is going to go there then get my pencil again i'm going to measure up this strip and have a little border which is this and this together is half centimeter bring this up so you've got the same sort of amount of card showing 
then put a little pencil line from there to there. So you're then going to cut that. I'm just going to see if I can see it. I hardly see it. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that. Put that a little bit more. So that's that piece. Then this is this piece doing exactly the same. I think this is just the easiest way to do it. Just make sure you get your panels in order. And then this one I'm going to have with the other side showing. So that is going to be. So I'm going to end up with a bit of space that is the same all the way around and that's where I put my pencil mark. So how I do that is align the pencil mark in my cutting line which is there and then line it up to there and that is the angle that you're going to cut. So that goes there. So just going to put that in because <coughs> otherwise I get muddled up where it's all going. You've then got this angle. which I've already done. So then I'm going to get my pencil mark there and there. Cut along there and that will go on that side. sort of stick it while I go only because I sometimes get muddled up if I if I cut it all and then I forget what I've actually which one is which panel so it's easier to actually stick it on as you go and then you know what you're doing so that is the last panel and that is going to go onto here. So again, bring it up. So I think that is, I need to go down a little bit there. I think I haven't measured that quite right. Just put my mic back on. I hope you can hear me better now. And that's going to go there. then you can rub all these lines off. That's it. So then put this all together as I don't know what I'm doing. So then I've got this to go along here. So with that I've got my ice creams that have already been cut out for you. I've got two cones but that's only just 
in case you want to do two cones. So with your white disc you can pop it on in the order that you would like. So I'd probably put it in that order. So remembering that it's only going to be on part of your white disc. So that'll go there. Oops, doesn't want to stick. And then this top one, you would only put a little bit of glue on this part because you don't want, it's going to overlap, so you don't want it showing. So this is okay because that's going to to be all glued on, but that is the top one, and oops, that's going to go at an angle following the circle round, and then this one will go on the top. So then I just need to put my put my little sentiment on. So um what can I have? Treat yourself. I might not have left enough room for treat yourself might do. Let's have a look. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to use the coordinating Calypso Coral that goes with that. That will do. And then with that what I've done is I've stamped that little line with sprinkles on the top and then I've cut them out and then put it on dimensionals. So that's how I've created that effect. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Then going to mount, glue it onto my scalloped coordinating circle. Pop that on there. So again, that is then going to be adhered to just that part. So what's best is to sort of gauge where that's going to come. So just glue maybe this section just so that you don't get glue on your circle, on your top part of your circle rather. And then remember it's got to fold in. So it's best to position it where you want it. And with the wet glue that gives you a little bit of time. So there we go. That is your card. And then you would put your back panel on and that's where you would write your sentiments. So I've given you plenty of card. So nine and a half centimetres. You cut that by 20.5. You're then going to adhere that to the back panel like so and you can put more sentiments if you want from <coughs> whatever stamp set you've got. But the white, because you, when you obviously look at your card, you don't want the writing in there because you don't want to spoil that bit and they want to obviously display their card nicely. So you can put your sentiment on the back. And that's that one done. So then with all your bits that you had 
before you've got this panel now this is what we're going to use for our second fun fold this is the flap that we're going to use so whatever color cardstock you have chosen that's the second bit of your cardstock so you need to cut that to ten and a half centimeters cut a panel ten and a half by fourteen sorry by fifteen and that is your back panel this is this panel that you're going to use okay so that's your back panel you then need to get that strip and you know that it is six or thereabouts just over five centimeters five and a half so I would cut it properly oh it is five and a half so then you cut that part of your A4 that you have left over cut that to a strip of six centimeters and then turn it around and cut it to 17 centimeters you then want to score it bring it across a little bit more and score the end that to that your little area here is two centimeters so this is 15 and that is two cut this to the same size so same length rather so you want that scoring at 17 you want this cutting at 17 you then want to bring it across and score it at two centimeters so this is going to fit over that with a little border there and that is going to be glued on and that is your middle section and that is your middle panel okay so the next bit is to adhere the top part to that card card base so you get your two centimeters lined up top panel and then bring it down so you've got equal card showing on either side so that is your top panel and that is going to stick there now if you measure let me just measure my centimeters okay, my centimeters that should be two centimeters on either side or just over two centimeters on either side or you could just eyeball it and see you've got about just over two centimeters on either side and then you will stick that little tab down I'll stick that down get your own folder which I've hidden there we go stick it down really well just 
just hope check that I'm all central let's move you over a little bit so there we go and then you've got this middle panel that needs to be measured again so that will be 10 by 14.4 the white panel and then with your bits left over from your ice cream I've just cut out these and I put them along the edge because that's the bit you're going to see when somebody displays the card so I'm going to stick that down So, and then if you want to, like I have done in this one, you could put your happy birthday, but remembering that people are going to see some of the white, so you need to have it hidden under that panel, as, as is your sentiment as well. Your sentiment and your writing needs to be under that panel. So then, um, we are going to do You've got two little die cuts. I'm going to pop that on the top like that. So before we do that, I'm going to get my ribbon, coordinating ribbon, and pop it underneath there. And I'm just going. To, got loads of ribbon. I've given you loads to make a nice bow. And then this is a lovely ribbon, actually. Um, it's carried over into the annual catalogue. I'm just putting my bow to one side and trying to make it a bit smaller because it's a bit big. And you can fiddle around with this to make it the way you want. So once you're happy, remembering it doesn't matter where you put your bow because you can slide it up and down to where you want it. Cut it, usually cut it at an angle. And then I'm going to then mount this. So I'm going to put this on dimensionals, but before I do, I want to decorate it again with my little ice creams. So I'm probably going to choose this one because I want the, the peach to come out. Now I haven't fussy cut in front of you this time because I think you might be bored. But I'm going to do it just for this little section. So again, sharp scissors, pointed edge. The best is the little snips that we have in the catalogue. That is really I think good for fussy cutting. You want to get a little border around the edge, open your scissors really wide and make sure that it's smooth all the way around so you don't have to keep going like this cutting. You want to have a wide scissors and then have it in one full sweep because what you're trying to create is the same sort of thing that a die would actually create if you had a die for this ice cream. Oh, God, I'll snip that off. You get the picture. So that will go there. But before I do that, I think I just want to put my little sentiment on. So I think I want to put you're so cool. I quite like that. You're so cool. And that's an ice cream. On the front. Oh, sorry. Noisy me. Mount that on. And then pop that there. And then that's going to go there. With 
it's a happy birthday, you could put happy birthday on from here. But what I would do, ha this happy birthday is obviously not going to fit on this white die. But I would put it on a white and then I would snip it in the middle and then mount it on. If you wanted to use that sentiment. And then I'm going to put this... Um, put this dimensionals on here. So that will go on to there. And that is going to be mounted onto there. Now remember, when you put your glue on, these panel, these bits overhang. So don't put glue on these edge, these side bits, just in the middle, because that's where it's going to stick to the panel. And that's enough, probably, glue-wise. We're going to get it three quarters of the way up, making sure this is equal both sides. And that's it. So those, your first two done. So then I'm going to do the next two, which I am going to do it in the snails because the snails weren't, wasn't as popular as the mushrooms so I haven't got any mushroom stuff left really so in your second sec uh, um, cellophane envelope is a piece of white card an envelope which I haven't put in mine but it should be an envelope in there then just have a look at the cards that we're doing. So we use doing those. So we do the shaker one first. So the shaker one is, there's loads of extra bits in there as well. So first of all, we want to do our card bases. So if we cut our bases, these are portrait style cards. So if you, get it so that it's at 10.5, score it down the middle with the short side at the top, turn it round to 14.9 or to be exact it will be 14.85 so it's sort of in the middle of those to get your crease right. So then you've got your card bases that will make your two cards. So that's your second card base which we will do in a sec. This is your first card base. You've then got your little holes. Um, holy. Now this comes from these dies come from the picture this and that is in the annual catalogue that's the die it's got a lovely stitched edge and they come in squares as well so that's quite nice it does the same sort of thing and it's got this lovely sort of edging which I think is quite fun and it's quite fun for shake cards I think so now you've got this is what we're trying to create. You've got a little cellophane packet in here like that. Now we've got two little acetates. Now this, your one is not cut to size. This I think I did cut to size. It's five point five times five centimeters five by five two five by fives 
and you're going to put that underneath this one. Now it's not quite going to fit so you'll have to just cut it but what you want to do is you want to create a little seal around there. So remembering it's this circle to the left, well you could create it any way you like to be honest, but this is the slightly bigger circle and you need to get that seal and it's easiest behind this one. So to get to that seal we need a little bit of tear and tape. So put the tear and tape around it. and create. So don't have any gaps because what you're going to do is you're going to lose your little sprinkles through the gaps if you don't create proper seal. <clears throat> so this is a little bit fiddly but I think because it's a nice small area, I think it's quite fun to do. Kids love shaker cards. Even adults like shaker cards. And I think the cellophane, not the cellophane, the acetate is really good. Some people do it with cellophane and I don't think it's as good. So it's trying to get all of the sticky off. Just fast forward this bit if you want, or you can craft along with me and take your time. So then, just got another little bit just here. So you then get your cellophane and you need cellophane, I keep saying cellophane don't I, sorry, your acetate. Mm. Oops, now that's creating a very fine line there, I'm hoping that will work because that is a little bit dodgy. Anyway, we shall see. You just have to be quite careful in trying to get a seal around all of it, but you then put dimensionals, which I have got little strip dimensionals for you in your packet. You can use these if you want and cut them in half, but sometimes this is just a little bit easier. So again I would create your seal Trying not to show these strip dimensionals through a little peephole. Okay. 
and then you just need just need a little bit there Ooh, I'm gonna have a gap there so then take this sticky bit off looks a bit unsightly doesn't it but you're not going to see this bit You just have to try and remember to create a good seal and it will work. So before you put your cellophane on the top, don't forget to put your sprinkles in. These are little shapes. Take all your bits out you need to decorate it with your sprinkles will go in the middle and they'll stick probably to your so get them off off the sticky bit put them all in the middle there so they're all going to stick, be in the middle, and then this, you can just position it where you think it will go. I hope I might, ha head's not in the camera shot. So all you want to do is create your seal around. So. There we go. So that's what you're going to see. So I want to cut that bit off, possibly this edge a little bit and this bit in here. So I would just take my scissors cut it and this bit because you don't want to see this bit. To make sure you go underneath. And then this edge is not too bad. Just a little bit of an edge. Make it neater. And there we go, we've got a little shaker card. So that is going to go on top of your card base. Now again, that if you put your um, strip dimensionals on the edges you can use normal dimensionals if you want to oops where's that going take that off onto there like that you've then got a little edge you've got little um, areas which you can cut out your snails or your mushrooms whatever you and I have done that you've so you've got six by six one of those and then you can cut out as many snails as you want and tuck it tuck him in there 
you've also been given a a mushroom regardless of whether you've got mushroom you've chosen mushrooms or not because it's got the all hello and bonjour and whatever you want to use so I just sort of pop it in wherever you like really these are nice little presents um, and I've got a little arrow coming in so you can decorate it the way you want really um, choose whatever you like on these and I'm just going to stick these these down and you can fast forward at this point if you want And then you've got your extra white card that you can use as your panel inside as well. And if you've got any any strips of nice paper, you could use some mushrooms or you could use whatever you like to put a little put a strip of DSP down there or something if you wanted to use up your your DSP. So then the last one is this one so let us do that one so that's your card base I'm doing the Bermuda Bay the snails so <clears throat> I won't going to I'm not going to stick that down yet I've got a panel so this is a DSP this is a card base that is going to go on to there which is 10 by 14.4 then this is a little six centimeter panel that goes on here and that is six times 14.4 that will just be stuck on so at this stage we are just using making use of the the DSP and the other bits and pieces that we have still left over and we've got lots you could also make another card probably with all the the, the DSP you've got left over so I'm then going to just arrange these lovely circles just make use of what you've got really so just sticking it on I'm sure you can get more cards out of this because I've given you plenty plenty of white making sure you've got your inside panels as well just wanting the squiggly lines to go all the the right way so that one will go put that one there I think that one remembering I've got a little banner to go across here you can arrange it where however you like So then that is going to go on there but I have got a piece of white thread 
and I've got pink here so I'm just going to get hit some white so this is also retired now the snail mail twine combo pack but in there is white but they do sell stamping up do sell white twine now in a pack of neutral colors and all sorts of colors that you can use on your your projects so I'm just going to tie a bow Oh, too big a bow, so I'll just make it smaller. So this one will take a happy birthday because the happy birthday is quite a big sentiment, isn't it? If I can find the stamp set. So the happy birthday is quite big, but this is ideal really to put it on here so I can pop that on there and then put the happy birthday on there as well so you'll have plenty of white left over so just need a block photopolymer is great because you can put it at an angle so I'm just going to use do that in a black I think with my black it sometimes doesn't come out so just do a little practice and so I want it sort of as a little banner so I'm just going to cut that on either side equally so same side like that and then cut into the middle create me my banner and the same on the other side So that will go, that can come down a bit and that can go underneath there but I would like to put that on some dimensionals. And then obviously inside you would take your, take another piece of um, your, for your insert, a bit of white for your insert, and that will measure 10 by 14.4. And then you can put some DSP if you wanted in there as well. So this should be all on the paper tutorial, the measurements. So then that will go on here. And that's it. My messy desk. Very messy. But then that's what crafting's all about. Mess. So there we go. We have made a shaker card with snails and a standard card 
and then we've made two of the fun folds as well which I think is great fun I hope you enjoy that um, thank you for joining me thank you for purchasing this kit if you would like to subscribe to my channel that would be wonderful just hit the like and subscribe button and um, until next time and I'll see you next time happy stamping crafters if you like this video please click the like button below and please subscribe and select the bell icon to all to receive notifications of when I upload. Thank you.